What's going on, everybody? My name is Justin Gotti for Justin Gotti TV. Thank you so much for checking out tonight's video. Tonight, guys, we're here talking about the MLB free agency as the New York Yankees are a team to watch heading into this year's MLB free agency as this team does have a lot of, you know, open areas on this team that can really have a lot of improvement on. Primarily, their infield over at shortstop and second base. The New York Yankees could be adding, you know, adding some depth to this team. You know, I really like what this team has on, you know, over at second base. You know, Steven Drew is a, is a guy who I'm not a big fan of for the New York Yankees. Yankees being, you know, their primarily, uh, their premier uh, second baseman. Um, you know, Stephen Drew, since his, you know, devastating leg injury in Arizona, has not been the same since he has returned. You know, he went to go play for Boston. I think he won a championship with Boston, but he did not perform very good. You know, it, it was not great, you know, great performance for Stephen Drew out there in Boston. The Yankees end up, you know, grabbing him from Boston, and he has just played average, you know, ever since his leg injury. He was supposed to be one of the, you know, uh, vastly rising, you know, second baseman slash shortstop with the Arizona Diamondbacks. It seemed like he was going down an excellent path with Arizona, and then all of a sudden, you know, that leg injury um, a few years back pretty much cost him. So he's out there at second base for the New York Yankees. The New York Yankees has also been a team that's been experimenting with other, you know, talent. You know, whether it's around the infield with Solarte, they ended up trading Solarte over to the San Diego Padres as that really didn't work out. Um, you also got to look at guys like Eduardo Nunez, who was supposed to be the future of the Arizona, of the uh, New York Yankees, not the Arizona Diamondbacks. I was just watching a Diamondbacks video uh, here a couple of. Uh, uh, minutes ago, so I, I was just like, wow, that's a pretty good video, so um, my mistake for saying, almost saying the Diamondbacks there, but need, needless to say, um, they were thinking about the New York Yankees were also having thoughts, like I said, about Eduardo Nunez being the future of the Yankees once Derek Jeter is gone, but that tends to not happen because he was traded to the Minnesota Twins, so the Yankees have really shot themselves in the foot in depth-wise. Um, this past season, um, they actually made some moves at the trade deadline, getting some minor moves, such as Martin Prado, who's a very flexible infielder slash out Outfielder can play just about any you know position besides catcher and, and pitching in in Major League Baseball. So he was a great acquirement. Only just to you know have this you know Yankees tenure in 2014 cut short due to an injury was placed I think on the 60 day DL. Um, so that really ended it you know pretty short. Uh, Chase Headley is no longer with the team, so third base could be a, is going to be right up for grabs. I know they have Alex Rodriguez. Um, they want him to play you know either DH. I think they're going to try and pursue someone else over at you know third base. Um, they do have. Uh, uh, zealous Weaver, uh, Wheeler, I think is what his name is, um, coming up for the farm system, and he's going to be up there. Um, but, you know, shortstop and second base are the two positions the Yankees need to add some depth on. Now, we're primarily in this video going to be talking about, you know, the shortstop position, but there is a guy you guys want to look out for for second base for the New York Yankees, and that's Ricky Weeks, um, who was just, you know, uh, his his option was declined. I think it was like a $14.5 million you know, option for the, from the Milwaukee Brewers that they turned down, and it was kind of like a smart move because Ricky Weeks has been declined Declining in recent weeks, or not re recent recent weeks, recent years, and he didn't have the power as he once had. You know, he's an excellent, you know, defensive, you know, def uh, defense and second baseman. Um, he lost his, you know, starting position to Scooter Gannett, so um, everything has not been working out well for him in Milwaukee. It's time for him to find a new home. I think the New York Yankees could be a possibility for Ricky Weeks at some point. I hopefully that that, that could be an option for this team. Now over at shortstop, the Yankees are a team that, like I said, they're not going to go out there and, and you know lay out some big bucks on pitch. This year, they're going to go with what they have. They got Masahiro Tanaka, uh, CC Sabathia, uh, Michael Pineda, Ivan Nova. I think that's a pretty, you know, you know, okay uh, pitching rotation. Sabathia completely fell off. Masahiro Tanaka obviously should be their number one pitcher. Sabathia has just fell off the face of the earth. Has not been, you know, a consistent pitcher, you know, as of late. So. You know, they're not going to add any other, you know, big name pitchers like a John Lester or a James Shields. So they're all obviously looking at the hitting. So let's get right into some of the options the New York Yankees have going into the 2015, uh, new, the start of the 2015 MLB free agency. Um, one option, if they want to go out there and start trading, this is primarily the trade market for uh, first the shortstops. And a couple of guys that really come to mind ha is going to go out there in Arizona. Out here in Arizona, they do have a couple of great options such as Chris Owings as well as Didi Gregorius. Excellent, excellent player. Players, you know, that are very young. The New York Yankees need to get younger. They're trying to get much younger. Um, they did get Jacoby Ellsbury, who's an, a, a younger, advanced player. You know, the, they also got Zealous Wheeler up here at the major league level. Um, so this team really needs to start, you know, adding in some much younger talent. Um, Didi Gregorius really has done that. Didi Gregorius is one of my favorite players to watch for Arizona. He's, an, you know, he's a highlight machine. Does he give you a solid average at the end of the year? Um, it gets, you know, a little bit rocky with Didi Gregorius. That's the biggest problem. But you know. 
know what, Didi Gregorius has the speed. He does have the excellent defensive playing ability. Also, you also got to look at Chris Owens. This guy is, the, you know, the phenom, you know, for second base over in Arizona. He can also play shortstop. So, you know, it's another experimental. He kind of, you know, he could potentially end up um, being Jeter's, you know, next replacement. The Arizona Diamondbacks already team is looking for pitching, and I think this could be an option where, you know, the New York the New York Yankees will have to either, you know, start coughing up some pitchers, whether it's at their major league level, what they have on their uh, current roster now, or possibly digging in deep into their farm system and ending up training away because they had a very dismal year when it comes to their hitting. You know, nothing was going well for the Yankees. Brian McCann had a down year, and Mark Deshera had a down year. Um, Derek Jeter, you know, in his final season, it wasn't that great. Um, you also got to look into the outfit where Alfonso Soriano, Brian Roberts, this team was just dismal all over the place last year, and they just could not find anything, and they eventually fell out of the playoff race. So um, it's pretty much in that rebuilding phase, and this team should get younger. And they have two excellent options out there in Arizona. Now, Arizona and the New York Yankees, like I said, have already had great you know trade history. Look at this past year. They got Brandon McCarthy for Vidal Nuno. Vidal Nuno did a great job out here in Arizona you know, in his time with the team. Um, he didn't win a whole lot, but his performance was outstanding. I'm a big fan of Vidal Nuno over the past few years. Um, watching him down in Trenton. Um, he's done a great job in the, in the Yankees farm system and then rising up to the major league level. Um, just nothing was connecting. Kind of like, like Brandon McCarthy. You know, he left the Oakland Athletics, um, comes over to Arizona, um, just did not get the job done. Nothing was going well for Brandon McCarthy, so it's a nice, a good, it's a good thing for scenery because Brandon McCarthy is a much American, much better American League, you know, better pitching in the American League than he is in the National League. He just gets demolished in the National League and, you know, he made, he picked up some groundwork out there in New York, so um, that's another, you know, a thing you want to look out for. Um, you also got to look at the other trade, you know, like I said with the Martin Prado deal. You know, Martin Prado was having a down year with Arizona. Big Martin Prado fan right here. I love Martin Prado. I wish I had the opportunity to meet him. I've gone to so many, you know, Arizona Diamondbacks games waiting to get an autograph for him, but um, they ended up trading away because Jake Lamb was going, it was uh, pretty much rising to that farm system. They've done, they done a great job in, you know, developing a, a Jake Lamb. Um, so he's primarily going to end up being their starting third base. Um, but you know what? Like I said, you know, the Arizona Diamondbacks do have excellent infielders that they want to look out for. Aaron Hill. He can, he's primarily that second baseman, but you know you can't just have Chris Owings, you know, be a bench guy and you know have him flip flop between days with Didi Gregorius. I think the likeliest scenarios is that the Arizona uh, the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks will likely trade Chris Owings. They also have um, Mar uh, Miguel Montero out there on the free agent or on the trade wire, so you guys want to look out for that as well. But I do see Chris Owings being an option for the New York Yankees. Now, if you want to get much older and you want to get more of an experienced shortstop, two guys you want to also look out for. Is Jimmy Rollins of the Philadelphia Phillies. He's already made his impact in the Phillies organization, so there's nothing really left for him to, you know, really contribute out there in Philadelphia. That's a team that has just been getting, he's kind of like the New York Yankees now. It's getting older, it's getting older, it's getting older. Look at Ryan Howard, look at, um, Carlos Ruiz, look at Jimmy Rollins. You know, this team is getting older, 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 you know, each year, and Jimmy Rollins wanted to stay with the team and listen until he broke, you know, the all-time hits leader. And that's exactly what he did this past year. So he's already done a whole lot, you know, in Philadelphia. Try to take your talent someplace else and try to contribute and try to win a championship. I think the New York Yankees do have the talent, but you know what? They've got to do something in 2015. And Jimmy Rollins playing years, you know, it's coming to an end, and hopefully that, you know, maybe the New York Yankees will look at Jimmy Rollins and, you know, say, we need someone for right now if we can't get anything done. And, you know, if the Phillies wanted to negotiate, you know, a trade with the Yankees and acquire Jimmy Rollins, that could be an option. Another guy the New York Yankees want to have, you know, for the next couple of years, you know, not going, you know, long term with this option here, is none other than Asdrubal Cabrera of the Washington Nationals. The Washington Nationals are a great team who, who you know, acquired some great talent in the infield. Anthony Rendon over at second base. And you also have Ian Desmond at shortstop. But now that you have Ian Desmond coming back at shortstop, what does that mean for Asdrubal Cabrera? There's no DH out there in the National League. Asdrubal Cabrera is primarily going back to being a backup. The, I think the Nationals, this will open up an opportunity for the Nationals to gain prospects from the New York Yankees. The Nationals have the pitching, they have the hitting. Um, but they just can't close out. You know that's that's their biggest problem. They can't you know close out the big games. And I think the only thing that they really got to work on is building up their farm system. You know they have done a great job with Bryce Harper. Um, there's a couple of guys on their current roster that have done a great job in the farm system, making a big impact at the major league level. Uh, but you know a lot of those guys in the farm system, as you know, already at the MLB level, has really depleted that farm system. So um, as Drew Cabrera could end up being dealt, you know he can, he's an option for the New York Yankees for the next two to three years until possibly the free agent market opens back up with you know 
know, some more solid, you know, shortstops and second bases, uh, second baseman for this team to go after. But I think this is, a, you know, the year where the New York Yankees have got to find more consistent help, you know, over at shortstop, a guy who plays great defense, has good, you know, base running ability. And I think guys like Astrubal Cabrera and Chris Owens are the two guys the New York Yankees could go, could go out there and, and look after. You know, the long term, another big option is obviously Hanley Ramirez. Everybody's saying that Hanley Ramirez is going to be New York bound, you know, once, you know, free agency opens up. I think Hanley Ramirez is going to, you know, ask for this, you know, outstanding contract. Um, but is he going to end up being worth that? You know, he does have the power. He does have the defensive playing ability. Um, but you know what? Do the Yankees want to, you know, pay up $114 million, you know, somewhere up there where, you know, Hanley's going to be asking, you know, above, you know, possibly even more, um, over $100 million because he's a great, you know, shortstop. But do the Yankees want to do that? You can always keep Hanley Ramirez out there as an option. We're just looking at outside options for the New York Yankees over at shortstop and at second base. So um, let me hear your guys' opinion about this. I hope you guys liked what I was thinking about, you know, doing a lot of, you know, research about this video. Like I said, you know, D.D. Gregorius, Chris Owens, has Dribble Cabrera. Those are all options out there. And obviously, like I said, with Hanley Ramirez, you cannot count that out. So let me hear your guys' opinion about this. Will the New York Yankees get any of those players that I have mentioned? I'm Justin Gossie for Justin Gossie TV. Catch you guys next time.